Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue working with the department's term set that I created in a previous demonstration. I'm going to use that to continue evolving my phone messages example. So I'll go back to my sites and the enterprise version of the phone messages example is of course defined in the content type hub so I'm going to go there and continue defining that and then I'm going to go into site settings where I'll find the web designer galleries and of course that's where my site content types are located I'll find the group Contoso and there's my Contoso phone message content type now I'm just going to add a new column add from the new site column I'll call that Contoso Department. Notice that this column now will be available not just for phone messages, of course, but for tagging anywhere. So I just need to do this uh, one time, and that's one of the major benefits of doing this in the Content Type Hub, of course. And of course, I'm going to not select a single line of text, but I'm going to use the Manage Metadata type of field. I'm going to put that in the Contoso group, and then connect it to a Manage term set here under Contoso and there are my departments. And of course the default here is to update all content types inheriting from this type and that's exactly what I want to do. There we go. Now I've added that content type. Now since I am in the content type hub I need to manage publishing for this content type and republish it. And then I need to wait for a while until this column appears and all of my other implementations of the phone messages application. So eventually that column will end up here also. I won't see it in the view. The view does not get updated automatically, but I will see it eventually in the list settings here since this list is connected to the content type and the content type gets updated from the content type hub. Usually this change takes about an hour in Office 365, so I will welcome you back to the next demo where I'll show you how that works inside the phone messages app as it's implemented in the sales site. Thank you for watching.